Hello, my name is Miguel Parga, and I'm the author of What They Didn't Teach You in Film School. I've been a professor for 14 years, and this is another one on my series of videos on how to make movies at home with whatever equipment it is that you have available, where I'm going to concentrate really on teaching you the principles of good filmmaking rather than the equipment. Why? Because the equipment changes, but the principles actually don't. Uh, that way you can apply those principles to whatever equipment you may have at home, whether it's a red camera or your phone. Um, very good. So today we're going to talk about uh, the inciting incident. The inciting incident is the scene that starts the main problem, the main plot of the movie. It is the first major obstacle that the protagonist encounters. So when you think about a movie, a movie is like a road, right? The protagonist is trying to get from point A to point B. And in between, there's going to be a number of obstacles. That's your job to put those obstacles in there. In the last video, we talked about conflict, right? Conflict permeates everything that's in a movie, right? We want to see that protagonist struggle through things, right? So for example, um, take a movie like Star Wars, Luke Skywalker, right? He wants to rescue the princess from the evil empire. Well, there's going to be any number of obstacles between him and that goal. First, he has to get out of his planet. Then he has to find a ship. Then he has to find a planet that's been destroyed. Then he has to get into the Death Star, rescue the princess, get out of the Death Star, and then finally destroy the Death Star, right? Obstacle after obstacle after obstacle. Each one kind of topping the one before. And that's how a movie basically is constructed, uh, through that struggle, through that conflict. But the first problem that the protagonist faces is called the inciting incident. Before the inciting incident, there's no movie, there's no story. After the inciting incident, there is a story. So the inciting incident needs to contain a very particular type of problem. And this type of problem is a dilemma. So here's a question for you. What's a dilemma? Right? Think about that for a second. What is a dilemma? If you listen to the word, you can kind of figure it out. A dilemma is a problem with two options. But is any problem with two options a dilemma? And is any problem that's hard to solve a dilemma? Not necessarily. A dilemma is a choice between a bad choice and another bad choice. It's a choice between bad and bad. You can't have a dilemma if the protagonist has a choice between good and bad. Because anybody in their right mind, right, will choose the good. And this is what happens a lot in movies, and I see it a lot with my students, that they'll create a... Um, inciting incident with a choice between good and bad and then force the protagonist to make the bad choice because they need the story to continue. It's like, for example, you'll have a, a man in a house and he hears noises in the attic, scary noises like a monster up there. And he decides to go check it out. Uh, no, right? No, he in the right mind would do that. But because you've written yourself into a corner and now you have to continue the story, you're forcing the protagonist to make a bad choice all good. What you need to do is create a dilemma, a choice between bad and bad. Okay? So, same situation. You have a, a man in his house and he hears noises in the attic, like a monster of their scary noises. But his daughter, his five-year-old daughter is up there. Now, he has two choices. Ignore that and leave the daughter <laughs> to whatever's going to happen to her and leave the house or go up there and deal with the problem, right? If your protagonist is the heroic type, then he'll go up there and deal with whatever's up there, okay? So that's what it means when, when I tell you a dilemma, right? You're forcing them to make a choice. That's bad. It's a choice between bad and bad. Now, some people may say that a dilemma is also a choice between good and good but it's just not as interesting. And that's something we talked a little bit about in the last video where we want to see the protagonist struggle through things, right? We want life to be hard for them. So in the case, going back to the case of Star Wars, when you look at Luke Skywalker, right? He's a farm boy in a planet, in a desert planet. And he's given a choice, leave the life that he has to go struggle and fight the empire it's an adventure and all this, but we know it's going to be hard. Or ignore that desire that he has to go help the princess and stay home and do nothing. It's a dilemma, right? It's a choice between bad and bad. Because the character is heroic, he makes the heroic choice. 
another example of this, for example, is the Matrix. Great example of this, right? Once Neo knows he's in the Matrix, he has a choice. He can ignore that knowledge and stay in the Matrix, right? Or struggle to get out, even though he knows it probably cost him his life. So next time you're thinking about writing your movie, think about the inciting incident. What's that first juicy problem that the protagonist encounters? The better you make it, the better you make that dilemma, the more powerful the connection the audience will have to your protagonist. If you like the content and would like to hear more about future seminars, projects, and the upcoming release of my new book, How to Make Movies at Home, subscribe to the channel and follow me on social media. Thanks for watching.